What's up guys, Keton and what's up here? And today's video is an exciting video because today I am here for my yearly round for my room tour of 2022. Now this time around, honestly guys, has not changed at all. I have no clue, like I'm not really good at collecting multiple things at once because this past year I've not been very good at doing, I was kind of lazy if I'm being real guys because I don't know what to collect. I'm like, what else can I get that can fit in this room? Which, which I don't know, I don't know what to get. So maybe in the comments, you guys can tell me what I should get to expand my room tour. So, you know, put your comments down below because I'd like to hear your opinion. But there's some small little changes here and there. And I will show off my room tour like I always do. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado guys, let's begin this tour. <laughs> So first guys, I want to show you guys my little setup I, hear, I have here because obviously I don't have a monitor or PC that I can stream on or, you know, do anything on. So I basically edit all my videos on my phone, uh, but I have my little setup here where I have my TV right here. Uh, obviously I have the Switch playing, I've been playing Fortnite, Mario Strikers, Battle League, Animal Crossing recently. You know, one of the, one of the more fun games, honestly. Right here I have my calendar looking all nice and schnazzy. I usually like to have my calendar showing up in the video to show what what video was made on that day, you know, during that month. So that's pretty cool. Got my Glow controller, one of my favorite controllers I have in my collection. This right here is my Wii U controller. This Pro controller looks very, very cool. Obviously I have my Wii U hooked up right here. And actually I can show you guys this little thing I do where if I want to switch from my Switch, if I want to switch from my Wii U and my Switch, I can always have a little button. Right now I have my Switch set up, but if I want to play the Wii U, if I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic, I'll just turn on the button right here using this Switch thing. And boom, my Wii U is set up like that, which is pretty cool. But I want to have my Switch on because Switch is more modern than the Wii U and the Wii U is basically dead. So over here are my posters that I've had since last year. You know, very generic, very cool. I really like my Super Mario 3D All-Stars posters. Right here is my Majora's Mask, you know. You love it, you know. I love Majora's Mask. Easily top five games of all time. I really, really love it. All right, then up here, I have my Zelda collection. Just a small little collection of little collectibles I had, such as some figures like Majora, my games, the Amiibo I own, and some of the Metacom figures I own. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of the collection, especially my golden cartridge I have in the background. Very, very awesome. I love golden things, especially with the box with Skyward Sword which is one of my first golden like stuff in my collection, which is very, very cool. I'm really excited to have this. Down below, I also have my Splatoon collection. If you guys notice, I haven't really dusted a lot, but I'm kind of running out of time. I need to like have this video out as soon as possible, but here's my Splatoon collection. Pretty nice, honestly. I really want to expand upon it because nothing really changed in this collection. Hopefully when Splatoon 3 comes out, I'll probably buy some Amiibo if they ever release some new ones. So let's hope they do. Down below, I have my Yoshi collection, or just a little diorama I have. All about just unique Yoshis, different colors, different sizes, very, very unique. I like to have some different type of variety of Yoshis, like orange Yoshi, white Yoshi, black Yoshi. You know, all sorts of Yoshis. I really love Yoshi and Mario, you know, one of my favorite, the favorite franchise of video games of all time that I really, really love, and I'm just proud of this collection. And I just have a random Goomba just right there. Down below is a new section that I have not had since last year, I believe. Which is my Animal Crossing collection. All these figures from Bandai. I really love these figures. They're very, very cool. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got it, I mostly got these from Plaza Japan or Play Asia. Um, and then back in the back, I have the game and the bell bag, along with the Roos coasters I have from Midnight Nintendo. So that's pretty cool. And obviously all unique different animal villagers and animal crossing characters. Just, I really love the franchise very, very much. Down here has not really changed a lot. It's just like some classic stuff like my NES controllers, my DS, my Game Boy, or not my Game Boy, but my Game & Watch. So I honestly don't really think that's my favorite part of the collection, especially down here, which is some random figures I own, like Freddy Fazbear and Halo and stuff like that. 
some God of War figure. Uh, it's not really my favorite part. That's why I have it all the way down below in the collection, which is all right, I guess. On the top here, I have different types of boxes and stuff like that. Just all collectibles I have, like a Happy Meal and some all sorts of Amiibos on display. Obviously, I have a lot of Fire Emblem Amiibo, some different types of Amiibo, like, like Corian and stuff like that, Richter. Even these new Metroid figures, the Metroid ones from Metroid Dread, I really like these. And up top, I have these weird looking um, Mario things I saw at 7-Eleven. It looks pretty interesting and collectible, so I, you know, I had to get it. I just kept it in the box just because, just because I really like Mario. And down below, I have my Super Smash Bros. collection, which I'm very proud of because it's not easy collecting different types of figures from all sorts of Nintendo franchises and other video game franchises to make a whole Super Smash Bros. series of figures. What I do in this collection is try to get figures, not specifically Amiibo, but specifically characters who show up in Smash Bros. That's why you see Waluigi and Shadow in this collection sometimes. That's why you see different types of figures because I don't, I'm not trying to collect every single Amiibo in the world because that's way too expensive to collect. So I get every types of figures of the character, like Steve, his Amiibo is not out, or Villager, just any type of figure to have in my collection of that character in Super Smash Bros. is what I do. And obviously, I have the games in the background, like, for example, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I really like that game so much. I grew up with that game, and I really, really love it. One of my personal favorite games of all time. And obviously, I have the Smash Bros. 3DS and the uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I really love. I lost the Super Mario, the Super Smash Bros. Wii U versions, which... You know, I kind of regret, but oh well. Here is my Breath of the Wild collection, or diorama, whatever you want to call it. I just want to have a own section for Breath of the Wild because it means so much to me. It was the, the game that brought me back into Zelda because I didn't like Zelda before Breath of the Wild that much because I didn't really like the games. They were super confusing when I was younger. But once I played Breath of the Wild, it got me back into the franchises to replay the old classics like The Legend of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, all sorts of Zelda games that really brought me back into the series. I really love Breath of the Wild and I hope the sequel will come out very soon. Down below is my Super Mario collection and honestly this is a, I can literally make a whole video on this because I have all sorts of World of Nintendo Jack specific figures you know all lining from enemy characters to Mario characters to Toads all sorts of Mario characters that I just collected over the years like any figure I see of Super Mario I have to collect because obviously I like having different variants and variety of my collection I really love what I had set up here and like everything is just set up very nicely with my games and different collectibles like a Mario toothbrush in the background with the Mario zipper case with my Mario Re Wii remote I just absolutely am proud of this collection and it's just I cannot, I don't, I don't, I really love Mario because he really got me into gaming and I, I really love the character because of it and I just, I just hope to collect more and hopefully I will make more videos on collection updates on how my collection of Mario is doing. Down here is just a random collection of things that I collect around the years, so like the Undertale figures, the Donkey Kong figures, just a variety of different things like games, Switch games, Wii games. Uh, honestly, this is a collection that I don't really mind that much. I might have to reorganize, you know, change it up a bit because I honestly not a fan of it, but it is what it is. Down here is my Fortnite section, which honestly, I don't really mind that much because all I have collectible is like the Fortnite comics and like the Fort some Fortnite figures I have in game, which is pretty cool. I have this cool looking golden llama I got from Christmas because it was like a topper thing. I really, really loved and enjoyed it when I, when I had it on my tree last year and a Fortnite llama ornament. So I really like that and just some more Fortnite figures I have in my collection. And uh, yeah, that's basically my whole collection in this section. So right here, I have this little dresser, you know, thing, counter, whatever I have right here. I have no clue what to do with it, especially with this Amiibo display. I was thinking of collecting different Mario figures so I can display them right there, but I have no clue what to do with them. But over here, I have some little collectibles like keychains and things I collected over the years, like, you know, this pin right here from the Pikmin, Smash Bros. coin, just all sorts of variety of things I have. Along with my wallet right there, my Super Mario wallet, honestly really, really love it. And my Nintendo, my Nintendo 
little pin thing, collectible, whatever it is. And then right here is my gamepad. I have it charging set up right here next to my bed. And behind it is my, lo and behold, Mario freaking lamp. I really enjoy it so much. When you, un, you know, when you do it, he's like jumping, you know? Very, very cool. Gotta put that back. Very, very nice. And over here, guys, is where I sleep, you know? Nothing really changed right here. It's just the same sheet that I love using every day. Um, I just love my bed. Super, super comfy. I really, really like it. Over here, I have just another section that's like kind of empty and don't know what to do with it yet. But like, I have some cool stuff like this from God of War. This, I don't know why I have this, but <laughs> yeah, I I don't I don't know where, what I need to do with this. Looks like I'm about to kill someone. But hey, it's pretty cool and to have my collection, I very, very, very much enjoy it. And over here, I have this box that my brother gave me when he first bought the, uh, you know, the, the ultimate edition of Horizon um, Forbidden West, which is honestly a game I really, really want to play, which I will play later once I upgrade to the PS5, but right now I'm kind of broke and can't afford a PS5. Over here is just another section that has changed since the last room tour. Obviously, I have something different, like a golden mushroom, which I got from Japan, which is actually available in Super Nintendo World. Um, very rare. I don't know how rare it is, but hey, we'll see. Right here, I use this speaker sometimes to listen to music. It's a Mario speaker. Absolutely love it. And behind it is this amazing and collectible Breath of the Wild Traveler shield. I really enjoy this shield because it, it's like a, it basically came out of the game is what it looks like. And I just absolutely enjoy it. And this right here is my Luigi, Luigi's Mansion, like light thing I have from First Four Figures, which I honestly enjoy because of how cool and weird it is. And I just absolutely love the attention to detail that First Four Figures puts on their statues. But I made a whole separate video on this figure, so we won't have to talk about this because I already, you know, talked about another video, which I really enjoy. Shout out to my brother who actually gave to this for my birthday. And over here is a Bowser's castle I've had set up. I don't have all the Koopalings yet, but I do have some Bowser enemies and stuff like that. Some like villains in Mario that are related to Bowser. And I just really like this section. Hopefully I will get more, you know, Jack specific Mario figures so I can spice things up, make things different. So I can have more collectible things in my Mario collection. And hopefully I can collect all of Bowser's Koopalings and kids, you know, all their enemies so I can make a huge Bowser army. Right here is something small like an Animal Crossing lamp. I actually broke this. It's supposed to have an Isabel hanging out, which I might have to fix later. But for now, I can like turn it off like this. Here's just a little small poster from Super Mario 3D World, which I got from GameStop, which is pretty decent. If you guys are curious, my drawers are very messy. Like right here, I have all sorts of different weird things like uh i would go through it but guys but it's just a whole mess of things like like extra cables mario stuff an extra figure i got from animal crossing just all sorts of messes and stuff like that like what even is this i got this from plasia i don't even know airpods fortnite v bucks collectible stuff pins a bag from super nintendo world which is actually pretty cool i should probably display it later but just all sorts of different weird things. That's a huge mess. Hopefully I can clean it out one day. But over here, I have some of my props I like to use. Like this Zelda, you know, like Link outfit that I like to use. This collectible Splatoon gun. I think there's pain in it, but I'm not going to shoot it because I'm not risking that. These Splatoon goggles, which look ridiculous on me. And um, this beanie I got from a Zelda. I think it was called culture fly i believe and this i is just a random beanie <laughs> and uh yeah that's it and then the rest is just honestly just socks and clothes that i have left over like these cool mario socks and nintendo socks i have in there then over here more of my clothes and then over here more clothes it's not like Nintendo related or video game related, but it is what I have. And here, before I go to my closet, is my Xbox mini fridge. Obviously, I have nothing inside because recently I've been drinking so much stuff that I forgot to restock it. 
So, um, it's just wet. I still need to clean it a little bit, but you can put like sodas, candy, whatever is cold that really fits for the mini fridge. So I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And moving forward and lastly is my closet. If you guys are curious, I did clean it out recently. It looks still pretty messy, but I have a lot of collectible things like boxes and leftover clothes I have. Just all sorts of things I have in my closet and I should probably clean it out one day. My Nintendo shirts and stuff like that. Very, very weird. But yeah, guys, this is basically my closet. Very messy. I'll probably have to clean it out one day. Hopefully I'll make a video on that. If you guys are curious, just leave it down below in the comments. Yeah, that's basically my closet. And here is my collection with all of my LED lights I have set up in my collection. Just whatever I have set up in my collection that makes it shine and makes it stand out. And honestly, my LED lights are just such a unique thing I have in my collection. And I honestly love them. We have my Mario flower right there. My piranha plant, obviously. My gamepad, I don't know if it counts as a light, but who cares? If I'm trying to play at night, I can just show it off. And obviously my Luigi lamp and my Yoshi egg just shining really, really brightly because like the Luigi one is surprisingly bright and it just shines out of everything else in my collection, which is awesome. I really love that figure. And lastly is my Yoshi egg, which is just whatever. It's just a Yoshi egg. What can you really say about it? <laughs> and yeah, that is basically my room with all of my lights turned off. And now let's switch back to the lights on. What? It's just a bathroom. So guys, I'm glad that you guys went through the whole video to watch my entire tour of my entire Nintendo and video game collection. I really enjoyed making these types of videos just to show you guys what I've been doing and just see how I live and see how I set up my stuff and stuff like that. I'm sorry that I have not have anything like new, mainly new, or anything gigantic that would entirely change the room. That's all my fault. But I really hope you guys can, you know, support me in the comments because that really keeps me up every day to make these videos for you guys. And I'll try to be more on top of my things because YouTube is everything to me and I really care about this channel a lot. And I really care about you guys because you make who Kitane 47 is. Without further ado guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to subscribe because I gladly appreciate it. And make sure to super smash that like button and make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me about your thoughts and opinion down below about this room tour or anything in general. It can literally be anything. I will comment down below just to see what my fans are up to. So guys, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.